Hello reformers and welcome back to Shadow of War. Now when we left off we successfully defended one of our fortresses and we are now in one of the later stages of the Shadow Wars. I think we're in stage 9 now. And we also participated a little bit in online fight pits. This is a very familiar icon to us all by now I would think. We're going to be doing a ranked fight pit with Cream Blacktooth. And he is a legendary poisonous dark tracker. Don't know whether he's going to do very well, because I think he has a glaring weakness in that he becomes dazed from poison. And this guy's using a poison weapon. Wow. Couldn't get fight. more unlucky, could I? Yes. Maybe I could, actually. Whoa, that guy has a cool hand. Do you see that? He's got like a claw. Okay, yeah. I, I don't have high hopes for Creamp at the moment, but who knows? Maybe he's going to surprise us. Oh, it seems like this guy is not immune to poison, so that's nice. That is good. Whoa, he seems to be doing some pretty decent damage, actually. But we all know that Ologs can come back very easily. Oh, okay. It's a legendary against legendary, by the way. So technically, we should have a pretty even fight on our hands. Oh, dear. This is not good. Okay, there we go. Ah, oh, not bad. Not bad. Good job, Cream. You actually surprised me right there. Huh. Interesting. Okay, so we know that the Rookie Pit Fighter upgrade chests are not particularly great. So, yeah, that's obviously not something that I'm very pleased about getting, but I suppose it's better than nothing. Why do I always have that happen? I always have game error network connection lost something or other, and then it works. No problem at all. Oh, well, never mind. All right, let's do it. Next one. Next one up. And then I think after this, we'll probably... Hmm, I don't know. We'll probably just check to see where the next defenses are acquired, and then we'll go from there. Ooh, this guy is... Okay, not a legendary, but he has gotten one win already, so... That must be... Uh, there must be something about him. So we need to be very careful here, because this guy is probably going to have some kind of enrage mechanic. All of my... Wow. All of Creeps, should I say, all of Creeps' bodyguards have been eliminated already. He has curse bombs. I I don't know how good they're gonna. I don't know how good they're gonna be. Oh wow, this guy. Yeah, this guy's not gonna have a good time. I think Creep is gonna win. I'm kind of surprised. Yeah, I'm kind of surprised because he's a tracker, and I don't. I usually don't think trackers are that good, as I've said in previous episodes. So, I'm pretty happy to see that he's doing well. Okay, come on. Yeah, one more. Yeah, there we go. I, I think I think we've won this. There we go. Nice. Nice. I'm very surprised. <laughs> Pleasantly surprised. Okay, we might we might be in with a shot of making some good win streak right here. I mean, I have a bad feeling that we're probably just going to run into some kind of berserker slash slayer who has enraged mechanics and they're just going to daze us over and over again and then it's just going to be... You know, one of those, one of those things. So let's see how we do. I mean, let's just, let's just take a, okay, so what I'm going to say is place your bets as soon as you see the fighters, because we don't necessarily know what's going to happen before that. So let's have a look here. This guy is a terror slayer and he's also legendary. So he's going to have enrage mechanics. He does have some people to help him out and... I'm going to I'm going to say that Creep is going to win. I'm going to be positive here and I'm going to say that Creep is going to win. Our guy is going to win. It really depends on how much enrage mechanic this guy actually has. Like if he's enraged by everything and taking yeah, oh. Oh. Creep is enraged. Creep is actually wow. Okay. Okay. Oh, we might actually be in with a shot here. We might be in with a shot of actually defeating one of the, I think, probably one of the most powerful that we've fought so far. He's no longer enraged, though, and that means he's going to take a lot of damage from this Slayer. But hopefully he's going to be able to poison him just a little bit. There's a nice trap. Move back, Creep! Move back so that your trap works. Okay, never mind. He's got him. Wow. That was actually really nice. That was a really, really nice fight right there. I really thought that we were going to be in with a pretty bad shot of achieving victory, but... Not bad. Not bad. Okay, that's three wins for Creep. And who would have thought it? Who would have thought he would have been able to do this? I mean, yeah, he's a legendary, but he's a tracker. He has only seemingly one enrage mechanic by the looks of things. And, well, 
He's doing pretty well. I'm kind of surprised. Okay, so let's have a look. Oh, this is a defender. Oh my. Bubol, the maddest one, and he seems to have Iron Man wrist blasters. So we're not going to we're not going to do very well, I guess. Tony Stark has employed him. Yes. All right, so let's have a look here. What is he going to do? He's level 60. Do bear that in mind, but he's a defender. He has knocked him. Oh no. This yeah. I have a feeling unless Creep is able to Ooh, okay. We got him we got him stunned. But unless Creep is able to get enraged himself or maybe do something Oh, nice. That was a nice acrobatic maneuver. We might be able to do this. Don't go in. Don't, don't no, don't don't go close to him. Don't go close to Oh dear. Oh, okay, that's some good damage. We might have won this. We did. And that is a fiery feral berserker. Wow. All right. So Creep is defying the odds, isn't he? Wow. What a fantastic guy. I'm very surprised. Wow, still, still very surprised. All right, so this is the last one for the fifth win. Let's see if he's able to pull it off. We've already been against a Berserker. We've already been against a Slayer and an Olog as well. Uh, is this guy really that dangerous? He doesn't look dangerous. He's a Mystic Destroyer. He must have something extremely powerful to be here because... Don't they don't they pit you up against the same amount of wins per time? Maybe I'm actually unsure about that. Oh well, never mind. Okay, so let's just see whether he's able to do something here. So far, I think we have the advantage because we do have a poisonous weapon. Our opponent does not. Ah, uh, okay, so he can of course use those flash bombs, which will stun Cream for a little bit of time. Ah, he has that ability. Okay, so that ability. He's very powerful, we know that. We've had that used against us in actual gameplay. And the bombs are not really that effective at the moment, unless he's able to capitalize on it. There we go, okay, so he's starting to capitalize on it. I'm not entirely sure why I'm rooting for the other guy now. No, Creep, come on, let's do this. He can do it. I'm actually unsure what he is... ...enraged by. Wow, Creep is... An utter beast in melee. I'm actually really surprised because dark track, well, trackers in general are not necessarily the greatest when it comes to melee combat. But Creep is showing himself to be a very, very efficient fighter. Okay, come on, come on, come on, Creep. You got this. He does. He <laughs> he apparently does have this. That is the fifth win. For cream, I'm very surprised. Wow, I don't even know what else to say. It's just, wow. I I, I thought he was gonna literally die on the second second or third fight, maybe even the first one, dependent on the opponent. But he is unstoppable. Uh, now that I've said that, he's gonna go up against someone really difficult. Okay, so let's let's try this out. Okay, so who's this guy? He has a hammer. He's a machine tank. Okay, so this is going to be a bit more difficult for Cream, but he's gone through tougher enemies, I think. But this hammer, this hammer that this guy has, is going to be very damaging. He's going to have some really, really good move sets, really good attack animations. We have used a nice curse on him, and ooh, nice! That is good. Look at that, nice animation. Let's lay some more traps because this tank is going to come into us to try and kill us. And he does have that. Oh, okay. Ooh, d oh, ooh, that was some nice damage. Yeah, Cream has to do a lot to be able to even get close to dealing that amount of damage. So if he can just continue to deal damage, get that nice trap out right there. Maybe use it to his to his advantage. Come on. Ooh, nice dodge. Oh, nice dodge. Oh yeah, that is what we like to see. Him getting trapped is very good. I think we might have this. I think we might have this. Yep, I think we do. Yep, I think he's done. Yep, the poison got him. Wow. Okay, I, I don't even know what to say. I'm very impressed. Very, very impressed. Champion Pit Fighters upgrade chest. Thank you very much. Wow. Okay, so I think we're going to leave it at six wins. Let's see. Uh, <laughs> let's see if we uh, maybe can defend something. I mean, we actually do have a defense over here. 
So we could technically defend this fortress right now. So that might make sense considering we're right here. And we do have some pretty good units in the defense right here. I mean, look, we've got Schoon. Schoon Hothead. I actually personally feel like he would be really good in the fight pits as well. All right, so we have Mozu the Gutless who did die in the previous in the previous siege defense. So let's get someone else. Ogber the Enraged. He sounds fun, but he doesn't get enraged. He gets enraged by acrobatics. That's it. <laughs> okay, that's a bit weird. Very strange. Okay, so let's let's put him in there then. I suppose. All right, so that's good. And anyone else? Scoth Ghoulkeeper. He is a bodyguard of this guy. All right, yeah, sure, why not? I think that's perfectly fine. Let's go with that. And I'm going to leave Krimp there because maybe maybe some people in Gorgoroth want to try and fight him. <laughs> it's gonna well wow, that's, that's pretty cool i'm I'm really surprised, okay, so yeah, let's go over to the defense and see what we have to deal with. This is of course stage nine, which is gonna be pretty difficult for us, I think I mean, I think we're probably gonna be up against some very high level enemies, but I think in the grand scheme of things. Don't think we have any chance of losing, but of course that is overconfidence speaking on my part. Maybe arrogance, maybe a little bit of self-assurance there, because obviously we do have Schoon, and we know how good Schoon is. So, oh no, they're actually not that high level. The only high level is the, well, technically the Overlord kind of the 58. All right, so let's do this. Okay, so reinforce stone walls. I think we're going to just go for metal walls. We have enough of the Mirian to speak of. And what about the Poisonous Siege Beasts? Yeah, let's use those and... Uh, okay, I'm gonna use the Spiked Walls and we're gonna see how the Spiked Walls do. I personally like the Archers because they're able to kill a whole bunch. But we're gonna try the Spiked Walls because they've been recommended to me by a couple of you, so why not? Let's just try them out and see how they do. And we're gonna use Fire Mines and Poisonous Siege Beasts for hopeful Bale Fire combinations and things like that. Alright, let's do it. Let's see what we're up against. And my main goal is literally going to be not to die. Because usually that's the only way enemies will actually be able to even take a fortress from us. Goond the Friendly. Oh, okay. He's pretty cool. Okay, so I'm going to do something here. I'm going to try and do damage to... Oh, no. That was bad. That was also bad. Really? Okay. So let's shadow mount this immediately. There we go, and try and do a little bit of damage to the opponent, because obviously we don't have our archers right now, so our archers usually were really, really powerful against the enemy siege beasts, but we obviously don't have that ability at the moment, so that's a bit unfortunate. But anyway, let's see if I can maybe do a little bit of damage here. Maybe get the other siege beast under my control as well. There we go. We also have a war growl outside right there. And, uh, yeah, it actually seems to be working quite nicely, so, yeah, not too bad. I actually thought that all of the enemies would, uh, you know, scale, well, not scale, but they'd all kind of congregate out at the sort of center, and they'd try and, wow, okay, there's a lot of, a lot of guys here. Anyway, they'd try and take out the gate as quickly as possible, so, thankfully, they're not really doing that, so I'm pretty happy with that. Maybe we can just eliminate them outside here. Uh, we should really just focus on the captains, shouldn't we? Let's just focus on the captains, actually. So I'm just going to consume a bunch just to get some of my elf shot back. And some of my HP as well. There we go. We're back to full now. Oh, that's fantastic, isn't it? I like that ability. And we'll just head back on over. Okay, so that guy could be dominated. He's level 49. He's Gund the Friendly, I believe. So it would be kind of nice to have him on our side. He's also a Marauder Slayer, so it might be pretty good. Stay and fight for me, please. And now we can just deal with these guys. Whoa, okay. Well, he was easy enough to take out. Okay, now let's just try and daze this fellow a little bit. He is a defender, so that's going to be a bit difficult, but thankfully he's not immune to frost. Oh, we're at max level. There you go. We've made it to level 60. Nice. Okay, so that was... That is actually max level. Interesting. Okay. 
Oh my, these guys. Okay, finally you're dead. I was hopeful that he would actually just get a little bit more damage taken. Oh, that guy's enraged. Whoa! Oh, he's retreating like nothing else. Make sure you lose your life and your fortress today. Mordor will devour you. I'm sure it will, but this guy is going to run away. Oh, he's the lucky. I don't think he's that lucky because we've just pinned him. Yes, he's gone. He got cursed. What's amusing, though, is that I think the outlaw set bonus actually does apply to even your allies. So if you think about that, every single archer, every single allied unit is going to have a 25% chance of causing curse, freeze, fire, poison, all that sort of thing. So that's pretty amazing in my opinion. And Gund the Friendly apparently does have enrage mechanics, which I'm very pleased to see. I was a bit worried about that for a second. Okay, this guy's frozen, hilariously enough. As you can see, there's just all kinds of freeze and curse going on everywhere because of the outlaw set. Okay, so let's go over here. Time to leave my mark. A mortal blow. Oh, it will show on the filthy tug. Oh, thanks a lot. Oh, he's enraged by everything. This guy might actually be really cool for the fight pits. Let's try and get him, shall we? I think it would be kind of fun to do that. Okay, let's just try and sh shadow dominate this as well. And I'd like to do a little bit of chain consuming, if at all possible. There we go. That should be enough to get me full HP. Alright, so we're going to do a little bit of damage to the overall adds here because these guys are hunters and they're going to do quite a lot of damage and, well, saying that Goond, is that, uh, not Goond? What? No. They're saying that this guy is actually doing a lot of damage as well. Wow, I'm actually, I'm actually dead. I hope he doesn't have no chance. He does not. That is good. Okay, so I'm going to have to do something a little bit else here because whoa I do not want to die let's do this there we go Phew, chain consume is absolutely saving me right now okay so what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna run away a little bit here because I like to get my focus back and then we're gonna try and just shoot him in the face a little bit maybe try and get a nice stun on him wow there's so many enemies out here Seems like he's not immune to fire or poison. And it seems like he's relatively easy to damage, so that's nice. Might not be too good for the online fight pits, but, well, we'll see. Wow, so many of these guys. Okay, we're going to have to do something here. Okay, how about this? Okay, that was a nice elven light, and maybe I can stun him or at least do some extra little bit of damage. Is he cursed, by the way? I think he is a cursed one. And that's probably the reason why we're having some difficulties with him. Okay, there we go. That's going to be enough damage. Should be enough damage. And now he's broken. And now we get him. Oh, yes. Please don't have Iron Will. Ah, uh, he doesn't. Ashkan the Rhymer. Yes. Let's do it. Okay, so that's it. We're done. I think we've killed all the all the captains. So spiked wolves. Oh no, we haven't. We haven't killed all the captains. Okay, well anyway, spiked wolves do seem to be relatively good. So I'm pleased. I'm pleased that we went for that. Obviously, we do need to be a little bit careful with getting overwhelmed out here. Nice, nice slow motion right there as well. Okay, so considering we've already gotten the legendary, haven't we already got the legendary? I think so. I'm actually going to... Oh, where is my bodyguard? Oh, my bodyguard seems to be inside. Well, that's not very good, is it? Okay, I guess I'm just going to shadow dominate one of these. Get all the Karagors helping me out. There's a lot of enemies out here. Okay, let's just try and do some damage. Whoa, that was a nice jump attack right there from this guy.
Okay, I've still got one last chance remaining, but we do have to be very careful about that. There is someone actually bleeding out, so I'm probably going to have to go and see what I can do about that, because we do not want him dying. That's Gund! It's Gund the Friendly. goes a long way. Well, I've put a lot of poison on this, and I'm eager to see what it does to you! Oh, thanks. Thanks a lot. Oh, he's arrow-proof. That's annoying. Okay, well, I'm just going to go over here, try and get Gund up. Oh, they finally got the gate down. Oh, okay. So this is going to be a little bit easier now for us to eliminate them, at least. Oh, that guy's retreating. You could say that he's stealing himself away. Yeah, he's a thief. So, stealing, you know. Anyway, point is, I'm going to go out here and maybe try and get a couple of consumes. Ah, uh, here we go. This is basically all I can get, but that's okay. That should be enough. Yes. Excellent. Oh, I wanted to try and get that Karagor dominated, but oh well. Okay, there is a level 41 bleeding out in there, so I'm going to have to go over and just see what's going on here. There we go. And I could technically get Ookbook. Shall I get Ookbook the Fowl? Yeah, why not? Oh, he's got Iron Will. All right. Oh, yeah, he's arrowproof, isn't he? He was a slayer, so that would have been pretty good. Oh, there you go. That was the last guy. Okay. Well, that was easy enough, wasn't it? It seems like Gorgoroth is... For some reason, a little bit easier than the other fortresses. I said that about... What was it now? Did I say that about... Nernans, I think? Or something like that. Anyway. We are done with this region. And I think we're probably going to have to defend that in Stage 10 once again. But at least we've gotten that one successfully defended. And... Okay. <laughs> Good work, Nakra Bootlick. Yes. All right, well, there you are. Pretty nice online arena fights. And we also successfully defended this. I thank you very much for watching, and I will see you next time.